Welcome back, YouTube subscribers. This is for Team with the Film Students Journey. And today I'll be talking about preparing for a film, or at least planning to do a film. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this channel, and hit the bell for more upcoming up to date videos. And as you've seen, the um, topic of this video is preparing or planning to do a film. Preparing is very important. And before I get into that, I just want to say, and I wrote on, a, wrote on a couple of index cards so I won't be fumbling through what I had to say. But the purpose of me doing this channel is to show my growth as a filmmaker and by learning practical methods and technical uh practical methods and techniques producing a film as a whole I learned by working closely with experienced filmmakers or work on my projects by using what I have learned from others or just from my own research because if you like film then you got to be dedicated to it it's a discipline to you no one learns something in a day no one learns something in a year there's always advancement in something Alicia Keys didn't learn how to play piano in a couple of lessons she's practicing and she's still practicing because that's her passion that's her purpose but if there's something you are passionate about and don't don't even think about the money if there's something you are passionate about and you want to learn and master you have to you have to be a discipline of it it's your discipline you have to learn it so um so i'll be talking about this preparing for a film you have to prepare because when you're dealing with other people People have to know what's going on. You know, um, people have to work. People have families. So they have to um, prepare themselves to, to work on a project. So you have to have production meetings before you even cast people. Uh, uh, so the pre-production the pre -produ the production meeting, the pre-production meeting is very important. You're laying out uh, how to break down the script locations um who does what um and then the dp has to figure out things he has to get all his tools together um the light man has to get all his stuff together and um sound or audio has to get their stuff together so it's a lot of planning before you actually do a film don't get the big head and say i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that without thinking about other people because you, you you you're so fascinated with just doing a film or getting a label of being a filmmaker or I did this film for the fame of it and not thinking about other people. So it's definitely important to plan the film out before you t before you even cast people. Because you don't want to have you don't want to have if you don't have your location together, if you don't have who's going to work on your project, you just said we said, "Well, I'll just worry about that later on." But I'm so fascinated with doing this film, I'm just going to go cast people. I'm going to do I'm going to go do this and I'm going to do that. And then when it comes time to do the project, you say, "Oh, I need this, I need that," which that should have been done early on. So, um the the purpose of this particular video is about preparing to film from from script to actually to the film date um and just to let you know i'm not some oscar winner um person i i i haven't been doing this for long you know i've been doing i've been performing since i was 13 but um i started doing film in 2015 but even before that i was doing theater and you still have to plan it's still a pre-production of what has to be done you know um before you even cast people um, but the importance, the important, even, even now at the, at this time during the coronavirus, people, it, it, it's like restrictions are being put up. So you really have to be careful where you film at. Um, you have to be accountable for different people if they've got tested for it or anything like that. So you have, you have to be careful, you have to be careful, but, um, just so you can have consideration for other people, please prepare and plan for what's to come now if you plan everything you got the right people that everything is going right and then here comes field day something happened then it's out of your hands if it snows or any anything happens out of your hand um natural disaster it's out of your hand you did you done all you could but let's be honest let's uh communicate with people and and, and let and let people know what's what's going on instead of just 
taking people back like, okay, I thought we was doing this this day. I thought we were doing a table read today. Oh, I thought we were filming today. You have people clear their whole schedule. You have people missing missing important dates and uh, doctor's appointments and stuff like that because your stuff wasn't together. You weren't organized. So the whole thing about it is you have to be organized to do a film. It it, it takes steps to do a film. But um um but yeah, know what are know what's going on. Be organized. Be upfront with people um, uh, about your budget and about your vision. What what do you what do you expect to see? Now, sometimes depending on what you expect for it to be, may not be that. Um, you might have to alter it a little bit. But if it's something like, hey, I don't have the budget to make this film. I don't have the people I want. Then don't do that film. But don't mess up other people's lives because you want to do the film so bad. You got to think and considerate other people's livelihood and what they're, what they're doing in their life. Um, work with people who are interested in your film. I mean, don't try to get nobody who's a superstar or who's really famous and you got to pay them. And that's, and that's going back with the other point. Be a friend with people. Um, I'm filming here. Uh, I don't, I'm I can't pay you. Um, uh, this is what I'm looking for. Be upfront with people. Don't say, "Well, I like you because I seen you in this show, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, and I'm gonna cash you." Not telling them anything. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just saying, "Well, don't worry about what we're gonna cash. We're gonna do this." And then halfway through going to the date, well, you have to be upfront. You got to, you got to. And, and, and this time, you definitely want them to sign like little. Uh, Maybe like contracts using their images and tell them, look, I'm not, you know, uh, there's no compensation. Little thing, little things like that. Um. Uh, yeah, like for like for example, I'll give you an example of mine. Why I'm so passionate about planning. I'm I'm a planner anyway. I like to organize and I like to plan. But there's been some times where I've done a rehearsal for something and the rehearsal went on for two years. Now. I, I, cause I just stuck with it. Cause there was always some kind of a uh, reason why we weren't putting the show on this day or that day. Something always changed. There's always excuses. And I hung on there for two years cause I was just starting out. But then I realized, you know what? If this ain't gonna work. If, if, if I lose out on this, if this is a missed opportunity for me, it's a missed opportunity for me. But I know that there's no such thing as a, a rehearsal going on for two years. Then there's a time when I have traveled out of state four hours away to be in a show because the guy had told me we were getting paid this amount of money we was traveling to this place and that place and actually he sent us all emails saying how much we were getting paid to show uh, what states and city we was going to travel and then when we did those three or four shows thinking that fourth show was going to be us going out of town and he says oh the budget ran out I don't have the money to pay y'all so I got I got to cancel so in, in my in my situation, I didn't know what other people was going through, but I know I had just quit my job, um, a, a, a good paying job at that time, and um, I had sacrificed a lot, even to just be a part of his show. I I I I, I gave up a lot of stuff, a lot of opportunities. I said, no, I'm gonna hang with him. I'm 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 gonna be a so-called ride or die, you know, for this person. Um, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to, I gave him, I gave him my word, so I'm going to do his show, but that messed me up in the end. But now I know you got to, you got to experience things. So I said, that's why I be upfront with people, um, communicate with people and please pre-plan and, um, organize your movies, your films, um, your music videos, your plays, um, be upfront with people, um, be, be, be considerate, um, and, that's that's all that's all I have to that's all I that's what what I wanted to say today. Um just some just some common sense thing, common sense things. As I learn things, as I experience things, I will definitely, you know, do a video about it. Um and yes, in the next couple of weeks I should know the results of my short film master class and see if I if I, if I am a selection for the um Oxford Film Festival. Uh, stay tuned and never stop creating. Um, never give up your dreams and have a good day. Goodbye.